made a mistake, so x z pose. No, that's fine. So it's x, y, and z pose, that's fine. X, y, and z, x, y, and z. That's a fucking thing that I'm trying to follow. X, y, and z, that's fine. So I do x, y, and z, but then I do um, x, z, and y. That's weird. For some reason, I don't know why, but it works fine. I don't know if I did something wrong, maybe. I'll leave it like this for now, actually, because what I thought was that it was X, Y, Z pause coming in, but for some reason, I'm sending X, Y, Z, X, Z, Y. I don't know. Maybe I'll change it in the end if it's not working. Um, and then what you want to do is the final thing, which is called setup, and this will not be recognized at all. So setup enemy vars. I'm gonna go right down to the end here and do it. Private void. Oops. Set up enemy variables, which is vars. Okay. I create this here, and this is what we're gonna do in a minute. Uh, and then this is what we're calling here because after we set up our own variables, we're gonna set up the enemy's variables. Oops. Okay, that seems fine to me. And yeah, I'm happy with that. So connect next press. So every time we um, select the process and everything's as we want it to, we put the hacks wheel in motion, and that's fine there. So the next thing we want to do is. Uh, yeah, on load, so we want to go here and just double click that. We want to say, oops, shouldn't have done that. Process timer dot enabled is enabled. Oh, is it enabled? Oops, timer dot enabled equals true. So as soon as the form loads, enable our timer to start working on the hack. And obviously, we have the timer here, so if we double click on it, we get something. So we've got process timer dot tick, and that's what we will be working with now. Okay. Alright, so there you go. Okay, so on our process timer tick, what we're going to start off by doing is we're going to say if game found. Um, so, if you, in case you don't know this, I'm sure you do. Um, if we just do this, it's the same as saying if game found equals equals true. It's the exact same thing. Um, so, if game found, we say int player base equals mem dot read multi level point, and this is a function that I created. Thank you very much. Copyright Fleet 1994. Um, so what we do here is we throw in the main player's base address, or so main player dot base address, which is the thing we set up a minute ago, if you remember. See, base address equals main player address, which equals this. Okay, and hopefully if we got the addresses right, this will work just fine. I want to say four because that's the size of the uh, bytes to read, because uh, it's four bytes, obviously. Um, and we want to say main player dot main player dot multi level okay that's what we're going for so we send in the multi level of offsets we send in the base address and then it returns to us the uh, and this is essential you have to do this and it returns to us um, the place in memory of um, that is pointing to which is what we need to edit um, mm -hmm -hmm. So I'm just reading this quickly, trying to get my mind around this. Uh, yes, 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 that makes sense to me. Yeah, I guess for debugging purposes we can do this. Um, yeah, I guess we'll... Should we, should we not? Um, yeah, we'll do this for debugging purposes. Um, we're going to do add a couple of um, quick things here, especially at least for the XYZ here, which I think is important. So uh, we're gonna add a couple of labels here, guys, just so we can so we can help us read what we're trying to read here. Come on, it's bullshit. Just trying to get some properties, man. All right, so got that on. Um, can't zoom in on that. that. Sucks. All right, so label three. We're gonna change this to um, expose. That will be our expose there, and uh, we're gonna change the controls back color to transparent and we'll change the full color to white uh, and then we'll just make a bunch of copies of it and then we're going to make the size of it something like 15 or something come on so 14 is good enough yeah so there you go so that's how I expose and then we do Y pause and then do Z pause just so we can have an idea of what you know uh, what we're aiming towards so um, we'll leave that as it is, we're just gonna rename them so it's easy for us to deal with them. So call it expose label. Let's 
copy that if you like because I'll do it and then wipe pause label and Z pause label obviously um, obviously you can rename these if you like I don't really mind because we'll rename them anyway and then Z pause whatever Obviously, uh, you can also do the mouse if you like to display that, but I'm not going to. So, X pause label, and I'm only doing this for debugging purposes, so it makes things easier for us. Uh, we go mem dot dot read float. Once again, this is from Pingo's um, class. Uh, read float, and we're going to go uh, X pause. Right? Yeah, we're going to do first thing. We're going to do is going to say let's say X pause. Oops, and then we're going to do that m.read float uh, and we're going to read player base okay plus main player uh, dot offsets dot uh, it will be our expos so there you go remember if you want to display the other stuff it's also fine just do what I'm doing except modify it a tiny bit so for example if you want to choose mouse on show mouse you just go X mouse it's the same thing create extra labels if you like to show those up I don't really mind so just change this to Y and that to Z and then uh, change obviously this to Y and that to Z oops, that to Z and then obviously that will go Y and that will be Z so what this will do is it will hopefully read the addresses that we want to read and um, yeah that seems fine to me so what we want to do now, I'm, all I'm going to do for this part is that just so you can have something to work with, something you can see the addresses and hopefully help you debugging it in case you have any problems so int int um, actually let's stop that for a second okay so took a quick break there guys um, so let's keep going with this so uh, we've got three positions there so hopefully when <clears throat> when we're playing the game they will update on the text and uh, we should be happy with that um, so int res um, uh, let me think let me think, let me think. Um, let's just say hotkey that's a good one hotkey equals process uh, memory reader. Uh, no, 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 no. Memory, memory reader. Uh, oops, API. Uh, dot get key state. So what this is is the same as the get key state function from C plus plus, just imported. Um, O2. Now this O2 equals the right mouse. So right mouse. Um, O1 is obviously the left mouse. So if you want to only aim when you shoot. <coughs> Excuse me. You do zero one. If you wanna, if you wanna know all the keys, just Google virtual keys, um, C plus plus online, and you should get f quite a few of them. And then we say if, oh, come on, uh, if res. So uh, oops, that's from Pino's thingy. If hotkey and zero times eight. 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 8,000 checks if we are holding the key that it's requesting. Um, something cool I'm doing tonight, guys. I'm sure you're not interested at all and probably even less interested in it if you're watching this a couple months from when I made it. But I'm going to check out the Dark Knight Rises. So that should be quite a good film to check out. Um, I was reading on the news uh, whilst I was having some lunch. <laughs> some fucking maniac in, uh, I think it was Denver, went to you guys I'm sure you know about this anyway he went to um, some a group of people on the um, premiere night and apparently he shot a lot of them I shot I think he killed 12 people crazy bastard he shot like 50 people or something crazy but yeah there you go people are fucked up like that but yeah should be quite good watching it because you know um, Batman and Chris and uh, Christopher Nolan and uh, Christian Bale is always good to watch fucking good actors them guys well not Christopher Nolan but um, I think he's the director anyways how to waste time during a tutorial by Fleep let's go up private void na, 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 na. private uh, aimbot so this is our aimbot here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna call it uh, so we're gonna say focusing on enemy equals true aimbot call the aimbot boom uh, else so if you're not holding that button we say focusing uh, on enemy equals uh, false, yep, and uh, focus target equals minus one, okay? Oops, oh, come on, minus one, Oops. there you go. And 
that's it. That's it for our uh, thingy function. Uh, we'll try in a minute. I don't want to have to run the game yet, but um, you guys can try if you like. But hopefully, you haven't made any mistakes. So during our process here, one final thing we're going to add actually is um, just outside the if game found we say uh, try try. Um, so what this is doing is checking if the game is closed. Uh, exception ex exception ex. And what what this means is if we're running the hack and halfway through someone uh, well the person decides to uh, close the game, then we um, we have to stop using the hack. Okay. Uh, so if if my process this is only so we don't try and write to memory that doesn't exist if we do that it's going to crash our aimbot so we don't want to do that game found equals false so yeah you go. oops there you go that's it and uh, no, no, game found equals false yep and then all we do is as usual we say message box go show and we say there was an error was an Say plus ex dot message. Okay, that should be good enough for you. And there you go. <clears throat> and that's our uh, timer tick complete, definitely. So we we're not going to start working on enable, and this is going to be a bit of a long, a long one. Um, so let's just do it. So player data vec. Uh, yeah, player data vec. Player data vec. Oops, vec equals get player. Yep, that doesn't exist yet. Let's create that function first before we do this. So, uh, no, 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 no. All right. So, private player data vec get player data. So, what we do with this one is we throw we throw a um, player data object into this function, and <coughs> from that, from all those memory addresses, we return an object with all the contents in there. So, we're going to go player data. Update player. player. Okay. So this returns our, our good stuff that we like to see. So create one of these. We say player data vec player ret, which is player return equals new. Blah blah blah. And there you go. That's fine. And we say int player base. And now this is exactly what we've been doing throughout the thingy. So just copy this if you like. And uh, no, I'm pretty sure we cannot uh, create a global of this because it. It might not work out well, so that's why we keep creating them locally. Uh, so we say update player dot base address, and we say update player dot. So we find the multi um, multi level point outcome or we're done. What have I done? Crap! There you go. I'm back here. Uh, so update player dot base address four and thingy, and we say player return <coughs> dot x mouse equals mem, which is memory dot read float. Update player. Uh, no, sorry, it's player base. I was a bit confused there for a second. Player base plus update player dot offsets dot x mouse. So that's our um, our x mouse. And now what we do is we do a lot of copy and pasting here because it's always going to be slightly similar. Uh, y mouse and say uh, y mouse here. So that's fine. And then we say x pause. Expose, expose, and obviously, might as well delete. What? Come on. Expose. Oh, sorry, my bad. Um, and obviously, you copy these twice to have. Oh, come on. And two, and obviously, it's Y and Z pause. And Y and Z pause. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then, final one to do is the health. And obviously health is read int, so let's not mistake that. And we do obviously the health offset, which is C4. Uh, and then we return that object. Return player return. Right. Beautiful. And that's our get player data complete. Hopefully we didn't make any mistakes. X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So now we say get player data. Okay, so that grabs our player. What? Come on. Oh, my bad. So, what do we do for calling this? We throw main player in there. Main player. Okay, and this is just a nice way of us always grabbing the data we want just by.